It's story time for everyone. Today's story is A Roaring Adventure from Disney Pixar Toy Story. Written by Kristen L. Depkin and illustrated by Josh Holtzclaw. Bonnie's toys were putting on a play about dinosaurs. Mr. Pricklepants was the director. Buzz and Woody were building the set. Trixie was in charge of costumes. Rex was auditioning for the part of King of the Jungle, the biggest, strongest dinosaur. Give me your loudest roar, Mr. Pricklepants told Rex. Rex took a deep breath and let out his biggest roar. It was barely more than a squeak. Mr. Pricklepants shook his head. Sorry, Rex, he said, but you've got to believe it to be it. Don't worry, Woody told Rex. I'm sure there's another job for you. But Rex wasn't listening. I'm the only dinosaur who can't roar, he cried. He trudged off to Bonnie's closet and fell fast asleep. Rex soon began to dream that he was in a jungle filled with thick vines, dark leaves, and a giant smoking volcano. He could hear dinosaurs roaring in the distance. Suddenly, a giant bird swooped down. Rex turned to run and stepped right into a trap. It quickly pulled him up into the air. Help! he cried. A tribe of cave aliens came running. I'm a friend, yelled Rex. Sorry, said Mr. Pricklepants, the leader of the cave aliens. We're trying to capture the king of the jungle. He's a big, mean dinosaur who won't leave us alone. Just then, the bird swooped down again. It was Buzz on a giant glider. Woody swung down from a nearby tree. They wanted to capture the king of the jungle too. Will you help us? Buzz asked Rex. I bet your roar could scare the king of the jungle away, said Trixie. Let's hear it. Rex looked around nervously, then took a deep breath a huge roar rumbled through the jungle. See, I told you, said Trixie. That wasn't me, cried Rex. An enormous T-Rex burst through the trees. The king of the jungle, cried the cave aliens. Roar, Rex, said Trixie. Scare him away. Rex tried to roar, but all that came out was a measly squeak. The giant dinosaur laughed and laughed. When a cave alien threw a rock at the mean dinosaur, the king of the jungle scooped up the alien and ran toward the volcano. Not so fast, you big lizard, shouted Buzz. He swooped down in his jungle glider, but the king of the jungle swatted him away. Woody tried to lasso the dinosaur, but the king of the jungle broke through the ropes and kept running. Buzz and Woody raced after the mean dinosaur. Rex and the rest of their friends followed close behind. Near the volcano, Mr. Pricklepants told everyone what to do. Buzz, use your laser. Woody, use your lasso. Then he turned to Rex. You have to use your roar. But my roar isn't big enough, said Rex. Not yet, said Mr. Pricklepants, but you can make it so. You got to believe it to be it. He placed a muddy paw on Rex's cheek and gave him the clan's mark of bravery. On top of the volcano, Buzz tried to lure the giant dinosaur closer to the edge. Suddenly, the king of the jungle dangled the alien over the volcano's fiery opening. 
Rex had to do something. Leave my friends alone, cried Rex. Then he took a deep breath and began to grow. Rex let out roar after roar, each one louder and stronger than the one before it. He grew bigger and bigger with every roar. Soon, Rex was towering over the king of the jungle. Rex let out his biggest, baddest roar yet. It echoed through the jungle. It shook the trees, it rattled the ground, and it frightened the king of the jungle. Now, called Woody, he threw his rope across the volcano's opening, causing the frightened dinosaur to trip. Buzz quickly swooped in and grabbed the alien from the dinosaur's claws. Then Rex let out one last roar, and the king of the jungle fell into the volcano. Rex's friends began to clap and cheer. Our hero, called the cave aliens. Hooray for the new king of the jungle, said Mr. Purple Pants. Rex let out a roar of excitement, causing his friends to cheer even louder. He roared and roared. Until he woke up, surrounded by all his friends. The jungle had been a dream, and Rex had been roaring in his sleep. That was the best roar I've ever heard, said Mr. Purple Pants. The roll is yours. Rex might not have been in the jungle anymore, but he sure felt like a king. And that's the end. Please like and subscribe to hear more stories. Thank you. Bye-bye till next time.